and what's happening youtube boy tech tricks back in another video today we're going to show you clean my mac 10 here we go first things first make sure to hit that subscribe button below hit that notification bell so you can notify of next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iphone and android check out my merch below on 130.ca make sure to hit that like button so we can beat that youtube algorithm today we're looking at clean my mac x basically if you have a new mac just like me you will need one of these because you there's certain files in the system on your on your mac that you cannot really see and you have no idea how to get rid of them and i like i like how macs are really nice and you don't need to worry about uh, a lot of viruses and whatnot but there are a lot of uh small files that is not deleted when you are taken out so for example i've installed third-party apps from not from the app store those apps leaves a little bit of cache files in your computer and there's no way to get rid of them unless you use clean my mac x now we're just going to go through today we're just going to do a smart scan right now and um, show you all the features of clean my max x and um, see how well it does i'll show you and then if you want it you can go ahead and get one yourself. So here we go. So here, uh, there's smart scan that you can just click scan right here. Uh, there's also system junk, where I'll show you all the uh, system junk right here. You can have um, you can have uh, grant access right here. Look at that. And then we can we can go to system preferences right here and do that right now. There you go. We can uh, do that with the clean my Mac right there. We're good to go. Here, as you can see, there's email attachments that you can uh, look at as well. There's uh, remove local copies of your email downloads and attachments. Pretty good. Trash bins, of course. Empty all the available trash bins in your Mac, including mail and photo library trash. It's pretty good. Here you can get rid of malware as well using the Clean My Mac X. Perform an in-depth checkup of your Mac for all kinds of vulnerabilities. Pretty good. It removes malicious files and protects your Mac. Privacy. So there's a lot of things that you don't have to worry about it. All, all you need to do is just do a scan with the Clean My Mac X and you're good to go. Here, even the privacy removes browsing traces and sweeps up your chat data. You can also uh, optimize it right here and stay in control running uh, of what's running on your on it, on your Mac. Uh, manage the launch agents of your apps. Uh, take control of what you're running. There you go. You can also do a, a maintenance, a run a set script that quickly optimizes your system's performance. That's pretty good. Improves drive uh, performance and also eliminates application errors. It also improves search uh, performance. Pretty good. Here, I like this. This is the best, I think, for me because um, I install a lot of files in the internet. There's no way to get rid of it uh, completely. If you're if you're doing this a lot, you will need uh, Clean My Mac. So here, uh, uninstaller, you can remove entire applications. Again, the, the stuff that are left behind when you're deleting apps and you're un uninstalling apps is not completely taken off. With this, uh, Clean My Mac X will we'll be able to clean it right out. You can reset applications to initial state as well. There you go. You can uh, view all your early stuff right here. And then you can just click one for example, and you'll be able to just get rid of that. There's also the updater where you can use this to uh, update uh, most reliable versions of your applications. So sometimes there's apps, like I said, that are not, uh, that, that is from a third party, it's not from the Mac App Store. Then you can't just click update. You can you have to re-download everything and whatever. Here you can just use Clean My Mac to just do the job for you, pretty easy. There's also extensions where you can stay control of all types of system extensions, including widgets, plugins, and dictionaries and other items. This uh, removes an extension correctly. 
uh, this is another hard part when you're trying to get rid of extensions and it, the whole thing doesn't come off. The cache is still there and whatever. So here you'll be able to remove it and disable it um, automatically. So also uh, files. Here it says uh, get visual size comparison of your folders and files in quick tidying apps. Pretty good. Uh, instant size review, overview, and uh, quick decision making. So yeah, there you go. Large old, large and old files are here. You can remove uh, large files and uh, folders you did not open for months. So that's pretty good. And there's also Shredder. So yeah, as easy as one button, you can just scan it. For example, let's do a smart scan right now. Right here, it'll start doing it. You could see here that it's cleaning up. And then the next step is gonna do uh, protection. And then um, it's gonna it's gonna define a suitable task. Even the speed, it'll calculate that for you. That's pretty good. Look at that. Removes unneeded junk. 252.95 gigs, it's crazy. You can even review the details right here. There you go. It'll show you how much stuff I have. Crazy. That's how much I could free up. Here you can, uh, it, sh it shows you here and neutralizes potential threats. So it's, I'm um, good. Um, there's no threats. Pretty good. Increases system performance. Three tasks to run. It's okay. Let's, let's run it. There you go. You can quit that. Of course, so when you're when they're doing this, you have to quit certain apps so that they can do their job. There you go. Just hit quit. And there you go. So you can see here it's clearing up all the files that that um, I can use that I don't need and. Basically, it's going through my yeah, mail attachments and uh, trash bins. System junk. Look at that. Uh, no, not even knowing that I have about 3 gigs of uh, system junk. No clue. I don't see that. No one sees that, but clean my Mac. There's also run maintenance scripts, uh, flush DNS uh, cache, and you can even free up RAM. That's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. There you go. So basically this was able, I was able to like get rid of a lot of stuff. Again, there's no way for me to even get rid of this stuff. I have no idea. We can go through a run deep scan right here. You can go through a deep scan right here and three more tasks right there. Wow, crazy. So yeah, if you want to, to get one of these, I'll link this down below. Go ahead and check that out. And basically, yeah, this is recommended if you have a Mac. Uh, clean My Mac X is the best, I think, in, in the industry to uh, clean out your Mac. And um, this works on an M1. I'm using a MacBook Air M1 right now. So this work on an M1 devices, so that's pretty good. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Download it yourself. Get one yourself. And... Uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on how to clean your Mac easily with one button. I hope you are staying safe out there. Um, wear your mask and uh, 
I'll see you next time. Peace.